Hello coaches, this is Ross Mallon for Youth Football Online. Today's talk is going to be on the gun triple option play. It's a gun triple play, triple option, with the pistol look, offset, could be anything you want it to be. The big difference between this and inside veer is that there's a shotgun snap. The scheme is a little bit different, it's varied, from the traditional under center option. The traditional under center inside veer play is a quick hitting, fast paced play. The gun triple play, it's not a slow play, I wouldn't classify it as slow, but it's a little bit slower than being under center. Because of that, our offensive line rules have to change a little bit. With the gun triple, our quarterback's heels are at four and a half yards. Some teams vary this. If you feel like the, gun, the snap is not getting there quick enough, you could always move your quarterback up, depending on what you want to do. Best thing about being in the gun is you're very flexible what you can do with your personnel. Traditionally, you have them at four and a half yards. Our tailback is at five yards. He is directly, directly behind the quarterback. You can hardly see him. He's right behind him, hands two-point stance. He's not seven yards like some pistol teams have him, but he's directly behind the quarterback because we want him to hit the dive fairly quick as opposed to being back seven yards where then the play would become slow. Our slots are still at the same level as they were if we were under center. You can run a variety of different formations for this, but this is the base formation. I cannot take total credit for it. It's really Tony DeMeo's gun triple philosophy. If you ever have a chance to look up Tony DeMeo on YouTube, you will see a lot of gun triple option plays and a lot of compliments to it. Offensive line rules. What I've treated it as is the play side it has gap down backer. Similar to power O. Everybody has an inside gap. Okay? The center is going to combo the A gap defender. The backside O line is going to base or combo gap defender. Notice the word gap is being used over and over again because I treat it very similar to a gap scheme. When in doubt, whatever front they're in, this is the biggest coaching point on this play for the offensive line. Every offensive lineman has their backside gap. So if we're running gun triple to the right, Everybody has a gap to their left. If we're running gun triple left, everybody has a gap to their right. Everybody has their backside gap on this play, no matter what happens up front. So going over these rules, play side of the line, gap down backer. The tackle right now, if we're running it to a one technique, you can run it, also I want to add, you can run this to a one technique or a three technique. That's the beautiful thing about running the gun triple, because of the built-in cutback, which we'll go over. So unlike when you're under center where you only want to run it to a one most of the time, you can run it to either side. Gap down backer. Tackle has nobody in his gap. He's going to block down to the mic. Okay, if he engages, he'll block him, but probably not. Free release for the mic linebacker. Gap down backer. He has nobody in his inside gap, or actually he has a two eye or a one. He's going to block down. He's guy there. The center is going to combo wherever the A-gap defender is. So as of right now, the A-gap defender is right here. He's going to combo with the guard. He'll make a call. The center's gap is this A-gap. So if this mic rushes, he's going to come off his combo and block him. If the mic scrapes, he stays on the double team. and Keep looking for the backside gap if he decides to come over the top. But he's going to combo and just eyeball this gap. Guard's going to keep staying on this gap because here's his guy. Backside offensive line, they're going to base or combo their gap defender. Right now, they can't combo this guy because the tackle has somebody. So he has somebody, he's going to step inside and avoid the slant, base him out. Same thing. Five techniques, step inside, force him out. When would you ever combo? Maybe if you have a tight end on the backside. If you had a tight end here, and your guard tackle could possibly combo if the tackle didn't have anybody. Most of the time, this is what you'll see. The other good thing about being in the gun is the use of no motion if you want to. Because the snap takes a little bit longer to get there in a shotgun snap, you do not need to send this kid three steps on motion. You can run pitch, no motion, at the snap. Because of that, the defense has no idea where you're going. They cannot pre-rotate before the snap. They cannot guess. Okay, they have to read it on the snap. 
So, which is good, obviously. And if you want to put it in motion, you can do that too. Especially if you like it off the play-action game on the back side or any waggles boots you have. But we like to run it, no motion, because we want to keep them guessing. They'll block there to fullbacks or tailback, depending on what you want to call them. And the pistol is going to take a slide step and go right up the A-gap. Quarterback is going to take the snap and just turn. Very simple. Take the gun snap, turn, have his eyes on the dive, just like inside Veer. Eyes on the dive whole time. Form the mesh with the, with the dive back. Dive back, slide step, and just come up. Form the mesh. Okay, not much different than under center. However, you're going to put a kid here who's like a true zone back. A kid who can read. Because now, you're accounting for everything. You're hopefully going to account for him with the center. You're going to account for the mic with the tackle. You're going to tell him to read this. He's going to hit it, and he has a three-way go. Straight up, there's a hole. To the right, up here, if he feels like there's a lane. Or, which a lot of teams under center don't do it, cut back. So it kind of looks a little bit like the zone read. So he has a three-way go. You want a good zone back here. Hit, here, here. Three-way go. Understand you couldn't do this because you're never blocking him. Now you are. You have a good kid in there. Same thing as before, count system. Right now it's a four count. One, two, three, four. So, dive, pitch, take whoever has you deep, four-step arc for run support. No different if we saw a four-four front. That's very simple. If they decide to give us a three count, they put the safety here, they have the cornerback here, All right, and they have a backer right here. They decide to do this, dive, pitch, instead of arcing, they'll do his three count, which we went over the inside beer series. So, really, the only main difference between the gun triple and the inside view from the center, the, guns, the gun snap, the aiming point for the dive back, and the rules along the offensive line. It's still the same theory. It's still the same principle as all of option football. It's a great play. It attacks the inside. It has a built-in cutback. And it can attack the alley and the perimeter. Big thing about this is, you don't really call it gun triple. You can call it gun quadruple. Because, dive, pitch, perimeter, cutback, built-in counter, all in one play.